Hey guys, so I am back with another video. I'm a little bit more settled. I wanted to get a video out to you guys. Um, I did my hair. Um, it's really defined, guys. Like, girl, look at the definition. Like, just look at her. Look at her, look at her, look at her. Super defined. I'm not a huge fan of defined wash and goes because I feel like when I get really defined wash and goes, I lose my volume, um, which is kind of like volume versus length versus, you know, you kind of got to get what you get. Um, I did um, use something that's kind of old, I guess. I guess it's old. I mean, it's old. It's the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. Um, styling better. I used this. I'm trying to kind of clear out some of the stuff that I have just in, like I haven't used in a while. So that's why I pulled this out and I combined it with my, like when I want that defined wash and go, this, this is just it. This is it. This, this is her. Um, so I used that in conjunction um, with the styling butter to get this wash and go. But before we hop into this video and you guys can see how I got this style, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel if and only if my content is interests you. Okay. Do not subscribe to my channel. If this content does not interest you, I'm going to be honest. If you don't like hair, if you don't like makeup, if you don't like girl talk, if you don't like skincare videos, don't subscribe. I'm just telling you right now, don't subscribe because y'all out here hurting my channel by just subscribing. Subscribe only if what I post interests you and turn your notifications on so you do not miss the upload. I will possibly be back on my normal um, upload schedule starting this week, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between two and five. So I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be back at the end of the video, obviously to go over the final results. And yeah, let's hop into the video. So I'm starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair that has been moisturized with my leave-in conditioner. I did use the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Leave-In. Um, and then after that, I'm going in with the Carol's Daughter Styling Butter and just applying that to my hair and detangle with my Freezerman Brush. And after that, I'm gonna go in and apply the Wet Line Extreme Gel. I rake it through first and then I go through and method just to give my hair the maximum lasting definition. Um, I just find that shingling works really really good on my hair when I want to define wash and go. So that's what I do. If I want a less defined wash and go then I would, yeah, I would just break and smooth it through but going through and separating each strand gives me a really defined wash and go and honestly as you get used to doing your hair you'll go through that process super fast. And it is tedious, but once you're used to it, it is not as hard as it looks. And again, I'm just going to repeat this on that front, front section here, and then I will be back. I believe the one I use is from Eden Body Works and I'm just going to apply that to my edges before I tie it down and sit under my hooded dryer for about an hour and a half. I think it was like an hour. After my hair is completely dry, this is how it looks, super shrunken. 
I actually think I let my hair dry and then I actually slept on this hair, just put a bonnet on, and then this is the next day. Super shrunk, sh sh shrunk in, but I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer with the concentrated nozzle on there just to stretch my hair, just to get some of my length back um, and fluff and thick as I choose. And then we will see the final look in a minute and I will give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the completed hair, guys. It came out so defined. I was slightly skeptical about these products together as I was doing my hair, but then I'm like, no, it's gonna turn out good because the wet line, I feel like, just comes through. I have no flake, and I actually did a test to see if it would flake. The test is whatever products you're gonna be using, just rub them in your hand together. If it comes out clear, you're nine times out of 10 not gonna have any flakes. So I did that actually before I did this and it came out super defined, no flaking. Obviously there was some crunch um, when I when my hair dried and all that kind of stuff. All I did was I applied a little bit of my mango butter that's available on my site. Shameless plug, shoptotaldivaray.com. If you guys are interested in my mango cherry butter, I will have that link down in the description box. But I just took a tiny bit of that, rubbed it in my hands, and kind of just scrunched it through my hair, smoothed it out through my hair to alleviate that crunch and get rid of that gel cast. But nonetheless, the results are just bomb i'm gonna be honest i don't know if that styling butter is still available by carol's daughter um if it's not i'm sorry but i do want to try and you know use up some of the stuff so i can kind of clear out my i did do a big declutter of my hair products but i still have a bunch of stuff that was like still full that i just didn't want to throw away and i do like that styling butter a lot i'm actually going to go in and use it again and do a mousse wash and go with the hair milk mousse because I still have a full bottle of that. So stay tuned for that video as well because I'm definitely going to be trying that in an upcoming video. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I love how the results came out. They're super pretty, super nice, super defined. Um, the thing about using the wet line extreme gel is I feel like I have to sacrifice my volume for my definition. So it's like one of those things which I love it, but I got, I mean, I got some volume, but like not like that big. I mean, I guess if I sat here and picked it out, but I just don't want to pick my hair out too much because then I kind of really like the definition that the wet line extreme gel gave me. So I don't want to kind of compromise one for the other. So that's why I didn't pick it out too much. I went in and picked it out a little, little bit. But over the course of the days, I'm sure it'll get bigger. I'm sure it'll get a little bigger and still a little late, late to find. The thing that I wanna tell you guys about doing the shingling method that I like is that I find I have less single strand knots when I do the shingling method, which is why I do it, because I don't like single strand knots. They are annoying as hell. So. Uh, I do like doing the shingling method. I don't always do it, but I find when I do, it makes for an easier midweek wash. So just keep that in mind. That's why I do that. So nonetheless, I love how it turned out. It's super moisturized. Honestly, it's super moisturized. It's super soft. Like my hands are not, they're not oily, but it is definitely moisturized. So I like how my hair feels overall. I like how it looks super nice earrings can be found on my site as well if you guys are interested um shop totaldivaray.com but i wanted to just come here and show you guys this hair i hope you guys like it and i will see you guys in my next one again if you guys like what you've seen here and you want to see more content like this 
definitely consider subscribing and turning your notifications on so you do not miss an upload again i appreciate you i support you i will have a link down below for you guys to check out all the products that i mentioned in the video but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for stopping in and checking my channel and i will see you guys next time bye guys